Hey guys, welcome back to The Living Truth, and this is LA. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about God. Now, I know a lot of you guys, you know, it's either I'm on the fence, or I'm just curious, or, you know, they feel as though the God of whatever religion they were brought up on um, either does not exist, or isn't what they originally thought. Um, I want every one of you guys to know that you are a God. You, as a being, are God because God experiences through all beings because he is all beings, all things, and, you know, all for the experience of life not and being within the world. Um, if I, I tell... A lot of people like you go through a lot of fucked up shit. You go through fucked up shit. <laughs> Legitly. You go through it because you are having an experience unknown to God. And there is something that your soul needs to learn within this lifetime in order to become closer to the origin. Um, every I Now, you know, you don't have to think that my way is the only way, but this is just, you know, what I believe. Um, so, basically, if you think about it, these, um, I'll give you guys an example. So, in my life, I, you know, I do everything on my day-to-day. -day. My life can mean, like, for example, I didn't have a job. Um, I had just gradu graduated school, and I felt like there was so much stuff I had to do, but so much stuff I did not have the mindset to do at the time. Um, and then, you know, circumstances lead to you getting exactly what you want. But sometimes life happens, you know. Someone can die, someone can get sick, someone can come into your life that you weren't expecting, and now you have to change. Um... And that may not be what you want it to be, but it is. And you have to deal with what is, because what was is no longer the present. Um, I, I try to um, just make it very clear that um, I'm going to get off on my tangent. So, I mean, guys, like, God is everything. God is all things. God is the water that falls from the sky God is the clouds. God is you and me and the little girl and the crazy ass nigga in jail that shot up some people and buried them and whatever. And I know you guys are thinking you're so much evil in the world, but there is no way to have good without the opposite um, defining force. Um, and, you know, we're in a change of... We're in a change right now. Our planet is in a change. Everyone is coming out of this selfishness. We were very selfish for a really long time as a human race. Um, especially those who will not be named in this video. But, I mean, we, we as a people are very selfish. Everyone. Um, we're very selfish. We want to hold on to things. When we get things, we want to use them to get us more things. Like, instead of doing something that would procreate and, um, be better for everyone else as well as ourselves. And, um, a prime example of that is someone who maybe just came up on a couple million dollars, but always, but making their money off of the hood that they come from, but never coming back to do anything for it. Um, I really want, I, and I think that's something that, um, really messes up our communities because we have communities and we have, um, black communities. We have people who come together and we have organizations that can help, you know, whatever situation that you're in, especially if you're a black man or a black woman. But I think it's just unfair. I think it's very unfair that you that there are people who come out of the hood but don't come back to support their their place of living. They don't come back to redevelop and help it get better. And 
I know, like, okay, yes, one person can't, you know, change millions of people or even thousands of people, but to be honest, they can. They really can. Even if it's just changing the mind state of the people that are stuck there, you're changing something. You're making a change. And that that is the God within you. That is the God within you making the change for the better. And I feel like so many people block the God in them because they're too afraid of what might happen. Understand that you are a being. You are a being here sent to elevate, not to not to de-elevate. You're here to elevate. You are here to rise like the God that you are. You are here to make something happen and I feel like so many people like they don't understand God is within you God is everything and before your soul came here that soul made a promise to itself I will accomplish this and this life you spoke with other souls that are also born within your lifespan or right outside of it to come and impact your life. So you people who see the signs. Those are signs that you developed for yourself. The God within you. Your higher self. Developed these specific things to happen in your life. So that you can progress. So that you can become the person that you're supposed to be. You make the difference. That you were supposed to make. And just as you did those with other people and you you set up these things and you chose the parents you were born into, at that same exact thing, you are doing that for someone else. You are opening the door for someone else's soul. You are showing them something that they initially would have never gotten to on their own unless someone else intervened. They would have gotten to it. It just would have taken a little bit longer. Um, FYI, souls take shortcuts. Okay, elevation is not wait in line, guys. You just have to learn how to do it. Um, But I just wanted you guys to know that you're all gods. You all deserve everything and anything. Anything that you want it is there. It has already is already happened. It is already bought. It is already on the way to you. It is the choices that you make that defer you from the path in which it's already there. Does that make sense? Like if I gave you guys an example, if I called my if I called my cousin, she told me to come to a family reunion, right? And she didn't she told me that there was food there but because I didn't ask or I didn't I didn't think about it I passed the building in which the food was in and I went straight to the family reunion now I am still having a great time but what I really wanted was food because I was dying of hunger but I can't get but the thing is I missed the path to the food but I made it to my destination. Does that make sense? So I, I really want you guys to think about that. Like, I probably was a really bad example. But, <laughs> I mean, I'm, you know, I'm trying to kind of tell you guys. So, like, for example, if I want to eat healthy, if I want to be the healthiest person I could possibly be ever, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to be vegetarian, I'm going to eat good, I'm going to get fruits, I'm going to get vegetables, and that's all I'm going to eat. I'm going to do some raw a couple times a week. I'm going to cook. I'm on it. I'm not going to eat out nothing, blah, 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 you know. And then I, I'm at work, and I'm hungry. And I know I made dinner, so I know I have some food somewhere in a bag somewhere, but I don't want that. I don't want that. But instead of making myself eat it because that is the will in which I am trying to get to. I am trying to become a vegetarian and I am doing that. I am doing it. I am supposed to be eating it and I am supposed to be succeeding in that. But I can't succeed in that if I don't eat the food that I made, choice, 
Or, as an equal choice, I go down the street and I get Wendy's for lunch. You see what I'm saying? That's a very, those are two opposite choices. But one path, but every path will lead you to your destination. But there is one path that has everything that you wish, you want, need. There's another path that will take you to that same place, but it will take you a long time to get there and it'll be a bitch. So, um, I think basically that's um, the video, but I do want to say, guys, I love you guys. I really want you to, you know, be in touch with yourself. Love the God within you. Don't accept bullshit on a daily basis. You are a God. Treat yourself as such. Stop treating people treat themselves so badly. Um, you judge yourself constantly. You you are your worst critic. When really you should be your best blessing. You guys really look at yourself up today. Look at the things that you do and start to change. Don't judge yourself on the clothes that you wear. Don't. Don't look in the mirror and say, oh, I wish I was 10 pounds lighter. Don't look at your outfit and say, well, damn, my shit ain't popping like so-and-so. Don't have, you don't have to go out and get the new Jordans every time they come out just to be that nigga. I'm trying to tell you guys, like, materialism is unimportant today. Materialism is unimportant and if you are basing your entire experience right now in your life on materialism, one day, all your materials will be gone. Nothing. Nothing. You'll have nothing. And then you'll know what it feels like to be humble enough to just live. And it's a lot of people go through the point in time where they lose everything. I mean, like, everything. Like, they had the big house, the Lamborghinis, the Porsches, the Teslas. They had, you know, land upon land, houses on houses, you know. They, they came to the club in a limo. They're doing it up. They're, you know, they're doing drugs, doing cocaine, smoking, you know, doing all these things that are harmful to the being. You know, these are harmful to your inner being. Drinking alcohol, one, drinking alcohol for women, let me tell you, if you drink alcohol on a regular, now, alcohol is already messing up your liver when you drink it, but most people don't think, oh, okay, whatever. Women, know that your eggs, your actual, your eggs, the things that create babies inside of you, your eggs have a sub they are subsected why can't I pronounce words today but the alcohol can get in and leach into your eggs and those those eggs have zero immune system they have nothing to fight that off your baby could be born with fetal um, alcohol fetal syndrome I think that's what's called you know you guys really need to look at the things that are going on in your life and and really decide like do I really want to punish my body for something that I decided to happen your choices make your reality guys this is LA with living truth see you guys later